Hello and welcome to this video about using numerology to manifest. If you're new to the concept of numerology, it's the belief in the mystical and divine relationship between numbers and events in the world around us. Numerology has been used for centuries to unlock the hidden meanings behind numbers, and it's a powerful tool that can help us to manifest our dreams and desires. So, let's dive in and explore how we can use numerology to manifest. The first step is to identify what you want to manifest in your life. This could be a new job, a loving relationship, financial abundance, or anything else that you desire. Write down your intention in a journal or on a piece of paper. Next, you'll need to calculate your life path number. This number is determined by your birth date and can reveal your life purpose, strengths, and weaknesses. You can find a free calculator online to help you determine your life path number. Once you know your life path number, you can use it to choose the right crystals to help you manifest your intention. Each number is associated with different crystals that can enhance your manifestation process. For example, if your life path number is six, you may want to work with rose quartz, which is associated with love and relationships. If your life path number is eight, you may want to work with pyrite, which is associated with abundance and prosperity. You can also use candles to amplify your manifestation. Choose a candle that corresponds to your intention and carve your intention into the wax. As you light the candle, visualize your intention coming into fruition. For example, if your intention is to attract financial abundance, you may want to use a green candle, which is associated with money and wealth. As you light the candle, visualize yourself receiving the abundance you desire. Another way to use numerology to manifest is through yoga. Each pose is associated with a different number, and you can choose a pose that corresponds to your life path number to help you manifest your intention. For example, if your life path number is one, you may want to practice the mountain pose, which represents new beginnings and leadership. If your life path number is seven, you may want to practice the headstand, which represents spiritual enlightenment and intuition. Finally, create a vision board that represents your intention. Use images, quotes, and affirmations that resonate with you and represent what you want to manifest. Place your vision board in a place where you'll see it every day. For example, if your intention is to find a loving relationship, you may want to include images of couples holding hands or quotes about love and connection. As you look at your vision board, feel the emotions of love and connection as if you've already attracted your ideal partner. You can also use tarot cards to gain insight and guidance on your manifestation journey. Each card has a different meaning and can offer clarity and direction on your path. For example, the Fool card represents new beginnings and taking risks. Meditation is another powerful tool that can help you manifest your desires. By quieting your mind and focusing on your intention, you can connect with your inner self and the universe to bring your desires to fruition. Practicing gratitude is essential in the manifestation process. By expressing gratitude for what you already have, you can attract more abundance and positivity into your life. Take some time each day to write down three things you're grateful for, whether it's your health, your job, your family, or anything else. As you focus on gratitude, you'll attract more things to be grateful for. In addition to these techniques, you can also use symbols and objects to help you manifest. Dream catchers, for example, are believed to capture negative energy and allow positive energy to flow through. 
By hanging a dream catcher in your bedroom, you can create a positive and peaceful environment that supports your manifestation process. Flowers are also powerful symbols that can help you manifest. Each flower has a different meaning and can offer different energies to support your intentions. For example, roses represent love and passion, while daisies represent innocence and purity. As you work with these tools and techniques, it's important to also use affirmations to support your manifestation. Affirmations are positive statements that reinforce your intentions and beliefs. For example, if your intention is to attract financial abundance, you may want to repeat affirmations such as I am abundant and prosperous or money flows to me easily and effortlessly. As you repeat these affirmations, you'll shift your mindset and beliefs to align with your desired reality. That's it for this video on using numerology to manifest. I hope you found these tips and techniques helpful, and I encourage you to try them out for yourself. Remember, the power of manifestation lies within you, and by using these tools and techniques, you can create the life you desire. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found the video helpful, and if you want to continue the conversation, don't hesitate to connect with us on thesagedivine.com or on our social media channels.